Yeah. I know you was talking about uh did you did you find your R and B song or whatever it is? Okay, so doing? yeah, man, I want to do something where we can start implementing like something of the week or whatever. Don't matter if it's a okay. song, movie, game, whatever. Um uh, so right now I'm going with the one I had. So everybody, anybody who's watching this, give me your uh RB group of the week, right? Okay. Mine is BBD. Okay. They'll be able to vote. And the reason I have them right now is I've been watching a lot of videos. Oh, you got stuck? Oh, you good, you good. Uh, okay. They I've been watching a lot of their videos, and they may not be the greatest singers and have the 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 best songs, but they longevity. The songs are fun, and they look like they're having fun while they're doing it. Them dudes are right. always hype. They was dancing everywhere like crazy, yeah. and they was about having fun. So I'm I'm putting them as my uh, R&B group of the week. So yeah. anybody got somebody who could top that, match it, whatever, y'all figure it out. I'll put, put that in the comments. Yeah, BBD, BBD was dope. BBD yeah. was really dope. It was something about that era because I think was it them? Was it them or was it Guy that ushered in the new Jack Swing era? Guy actually no new Jack Swing, but they wasn't 100 percent new Jack Swing, like talking about they were they did a little bit of mixture of both, but they were a lot of their music was like dance music, like you can actually Ooh, BBD, yeah. Well, I mean, and but that's all new Jack tracks. That's what all new Jack Swing was, though. It was all it was all R and B music, uh, like a- accented by like hip hop elements. So right. you had like the drum patterns, and you know they would throw some samples in there, or whatever they did to make it, you know, make you move, uh, which was really really kind of dope. But uh, yeah, no, BBD was dope. I mean, but also they are an offshoot of like one of the greatest R and B groups of all of, time. Of course, I just wanted to shoot them out because for one yeah. with them three. Their energy was different from when they were with New Edition, so right they, they they was able to do their own stuff, and they just look like cool dudes to hang out with. They look like they 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 cool. They get the chicks. They'll knock a nigga out if they need to, whatever. Yeah. But it's just they seem like down to earth, like cool people you can hang out with. You know, what yeah. I'm saying you wasn't too serious about shit. Man, them niggas had mad egos, but yeah, I'm, pretty sure they did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? That just, they just, you know, what I'm saying that it's, as a group, nah. I would, I would love to be a part of a group and have fun with that shit. Right? Yeah, they, nah, they, they was enjoying it. They, they, they really brought about that. It was a certain that was a that was an era where like it just it was just something about it where dancing was cool and. You know, I, was, I, don't, I don't know. It was just that because the you fits about, that they had on the the fits and everything. Was yeah, wild. it was just it was just the look, the, yeah. the attitude, the style, like all of that was just it was just something about that. That was like what, like late eighties, early nineties kind of era. Yeah, yeah. So you know, that was the high top fades with the you with got the you got to have your 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 cut got to be right, your fit yeah. got to be right, your dance moves had to be on point. Yeah. Your vocals can be, they can be whatever at this point. As long as you got that down, you good. But they, yeah. they was able, they was able to sing and do what they need to do. So 